The mix route in Spring Breeze is the fastest way to go through the minigame. Or the sub-game, I guess. So if you want to be a fast fellow, this is what you should be doing. Go ahead and do that. Just get above this first area. Every time you're in the air, you're releasing the D-pad to make sure you keep going forward as quickly as you can be. For this mini-boss, you have three things to do. There's a manipulation that I don't know what to do. There's this get lucky strat where you just slide in. Hope that something good like that happens and then move forward. And then you have to do a guard chain against this guy. And then hit the mix for Jet. For the manipulation, if there's a good video for it that shows what it is, I'll put it in the description. Uh, this is the other way. You just go above the screen. Mini boss skip like you would anything else. And that's why this is hard. So, these guys, whenever they're setting stuff up like, you see how he just suicided there? If their bomb hits them, they die instantly. Uh, the way you can guard chain them is you're allowed one contact hit like this. You know, how you just hit them normally without guarding, and then two guards. It's assumed that you have as many guards as you want. You know, as long as you don't do any contact, since you're not really going to be guarding them for that long. If you're going to be doing this, I suggest rake mashing, since it's the easiest. At least for me. Alright, we got Jet. So there's a bear that's coming up to the right side of the screen. Nothing's gonna happen as long as you get the good positioning. No matter what pattern is, we'll get in the door. Alright, for this room you start about here-ish. There's a beam guy here. You're just gonna dash into him and kill him. Go up. Semi there. And for this part, it really depends what the enemies are doing. Like you saw that Waddle D guy got in the way. Ideally, you'd be able to just line chain up this thing. Let's see if I can do it. But sometimes stuff will get in the way and you'll just have to, you know, jump up and take them out. Against Wispy, it's gonna be full charge. One, two, three, four, dash out and bump into the star. You can adjust your height depending on where you hit Wispy by holding up or down. That significantly changes how far you bump. For stage 2, you're starting with a semi-charge here, hitting that guy, moving forward, or over to the door. Slide, hit, go up, hit. Down here, hit this guy with the burner and go forward. Get the candy, anytime you're in the air you're gonna be dashing, with your jet attack, and go over here. For this one break and get to the door. For Lolo and La La La, they both push a block or a Gordo depending on the luck. What you're gonna try doing is picking up a block and then suplexing it to kill both of them instantly in one movement. Like you go like that and then the projectile that comes from the block is gonna kill one of them and then just the contact damage is gonna kill the other. The distance for the block is a little bit over a tile width, so you see we got one tile here, another tile here, one tile here. You're gonna do it when the block is right here-ish, and you're here, about a tile away. You cannot do the grab if they spawn on the middle and lower platform. If that happens, just to charge into a semi will kill them, and you just chase them down. Like so. Except I'm bad, so I couldn't do it in one cycle. For this room, you're spawning about here. It's gonna be a semi-semi into a tap, charge, break into a tap. Something like that. For this, you're gonna ground it to hit that guy. Go up here. And then you're gonna just tap onto this part. For this one, let me break that and go into the door. 
full charge into a semi will kill him there. This next room with all the blocks, you have multiple options to choose from. You can either hope to get lucky and semi through them. Sometimes you'll break through, sometimes you won't. Or you can just tap against it to make a little space to go through. Go up into the door. For this part, you're just going to go up. You can just tap on this floor here and then press down and that'll slide you over to the door. And then press up. For Krako, it's two full charges and one semi, so you're going to be using this. Use that semi charge to just hit him and then finish with the full charge. If you're doing unrestricted, you reset on contact kill. So as soon as the screen starts flashing, so you reset. If not, you pick up the star if you're just playing restricted and move on to DDD. For unrestricted, you can just look at the other tutorial, the non mix one, because it's the same fight. You just pick up Stone, who's over to the left here. But if you are doing Restricted, you're killing DDD with Jet. It is two full charges and two burners, or two full charges and a semi. Or actually, it's three. I don't know how to count. Hold start at the end of this. If you're doing Unrestricted, you reset on Contact again, and then just go into your next game. If you are playing Restricted, just hold start.